Everyone who is watching this video, I'm about to help you become the perfect client to the banks to get as much funding as you ever need in just a few minutes. I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can build up the credit on your business borrowing profile so the banks trust you and lend you a lot of money. If you've never thought about getting funding before, you'll want to by the end of this video. So most people that approach the banks and are looking for funding tend to have a bare bones business credit profile. There's basically nothing there. And this is kind of a problem for the banks because they want to see some kind of prior history, similar to a person personal credit report, if you have a lot of on-time payments, you've shown yourself to be a responsible borrower, the banks will be a lot more comfortable extending you different types of debt and loans. And that's the same thing that applies to your business as well. If you're a brand new business with no history, maybe little to no cash flow, and even if you're wanting to scale and, and hit the next level, the banks want to see how you behave with debts. And not only on the personal side, but also through your business. So the only way to really show history is either get debts or is to actually manufacture on-time payments. So you can actually create on-time payments with what are called net 30 vendors online. So certain online retailers allow you to purchase on their website through their catalog on net 30 terms which means buy now and pay within 30 days. So what this does is that you're able to create a purchase, pay nothing at the time of purchase, you then create a debt, right? Since you've gotten something and you haven't actually paid them for it, you then create a debt and then you then pay it off. So by doing this, you're actually able to create more on-time payments on your business credit reports and now you've become the stronger borrower for the banks. So this is really important because now you're able to strengthen your business credit report, which is is completely separate from your personal. Your business has a credit report that's attached to the EIN number, employer identification number. And by building that up, now you become a stronger borrower on your business. And if you're doing this right, you've also built up your personal credit report on the side. So now you become a really strong borrower for the banks, and this will allow you to get easier approvals and also get approved for higher amounts, which allows you to have more capital available to scale your ads, hire a team, expand your product offerings, whatever you need to do to essentially hit that next level and you can do this with the capital through the business funding. So this entire process here will show you exactly how to manufacture these purchases and create these on-time payments with these net 30 vendors. It's a very, very popular process. There's a lot of different net 30 vendors out there. I'm gonna show you exactly my top five favorite ones that I use and a lot of my clients use to create these on-time payments. An important thing to know for business credit is that you actually need five on-time payments for you to actually establish a business credit report. Some people say four is enough, but I tend to lean over on five just because it makes sure that you actually have it established. So the way to actually build up your credit report would be to have four different net 30 purchases. So either using the same vendor multiple times or using four out of the five options that I provide for you in this video, and then using nav.com to actually track and monitor your business credit report. I recommend using that credit monitoring service to actually see exactly what your business credit report looks like. And then you can actually continue to build it up as you adapt. So so now that you actually understand the process, let's dive in exactly what the top five are. And I'll show you exactly what they are, how you can qualify, the process of getting a net 30 account and where they report to. So here I'll go over my top five net 30 vendors. I choose these based on the fact that they're really easy to use. They report to the top business bureaus and you should be able to really build your business credit the fastest way possible through them. The first recommended net 30 vendor here is CEO Creative. So I like them because they got an easy to use website. They got some fun gadget and electronics available and they report to multiple different business bureaus. So to qualify, you need to be established as a US business. Your business must exist for at least 30 days. You want to have no negative payment history through your business. So no late payments, derogatory marks, collections, anything like that. They do have an annual fee of $49. So that will refresh every year. And you do need an EIN and a Dunn's number. So Dunn's is Dunn's and Bradstreet. So they are one of the top business reporting agencies. And for some reason, they want you to actually go out and apply to get a Dunn's number so that you can actually start to report on time payments through them. So sometimes when you have on time payments or debt accounts, they sometimes will generate it automatically. But to make sure and to provide the assurance that you'll actually be able to build on time payments through this actual business bureau, you'll actually want to go and apply for it first. So before you start this entire process, I recommend to go and get your Dunn's number so that you can actually report it to also that bureau because every single bank that you apply for, they will be looking at different business bureaus depending on their 
preference, where you're actually located. It's the same thing for a personal. But whenever you apply for a personal credit card, they might apply or pull your report from either Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion. In this case, the business bureaus will also be looked at depending on the bank and where you're actually located. So it's best to actually establish your business credit and start to build it across all the different business bureaus. And in this case, unfortunately, every single account's not gonna report to every single bureau. So that's why we want to have different Net30 accounts established so that now you can start to build it across all of them. But to get back to this qualifications, we need all of this process. So the process is pretty straightforward. You can just simply Google net 30 CEO creative and you'll pop on their form. And so you'll fill out the form. Once you get approved, you'll then be asked to also submit the payments. And from there, it should be pretty easy. Whenever you have to pay to actually get a net 30 account, typically the processing time is a lot faster. So that is the benefit. So with them, you should get your net 30 account within a few days, and then you can go back and, and make a purchase. So to make sure that you're actually making a net 30 purchase, the goal here is to create a debt and then pay it off. So what you'll be doing is that you'll go onto the website site, you'll select the products that you want, you'll then pay. And when it comes to the actual checkout process, if you're doing this correctly, you actually pay $0 at the time of checkout. So if you submit the order and you receive the items, you didn't pay anything, you never pulled out your wallet, you did it correctly. So at that point, you then created a debt with this company. And if you're on net 30 terms, you have 30 days to pay it off. So in this case, what I recommend doing is making that purchase, making sure it's expensive enough to where it actually reports. So some of the these vendors have different requirements. Some of them are a little bit lower. Some of them are as high as $100. I usually recommend at least 80 if they don't say anything, or even if it's lower, just to be sure that the actual debt is significant enough to where they'll actually want to report it. And I also recommend waiting 21 days before paying it off to make sure that the debt's actually old enough to also be significant enough to actually report. So you want to buy something that's at least $80 if it doesn't say anything else, and you want to wait 21 days before paying off the debt. And at that point, you'll have successfully paid off the debt with the vendor. And now you have one on time payment with this vendor on your business credit report. So for this particular vendor with CEO Creative, they'll be reporting to Credit Safe, Duns & Bradstreet, Equifax Business, and the National Association of Credit Management. So the top business bureaus are Experian Business, Equifax Business, and Duns & Bradstreet. All the other ones that you'll see on here are the extras, basically. These are third parties or more like secondary business bureaus. So some of the banks actually do still look at them. They're just not the major ones. And for them, the payments actually do post a little bit slower. So most net 30 vendors should post within two weeks or so. They will actually post within 60 days. So one caveat right there. That's basically it for the CEO creative. Next up, we have Brown Office Supplies. So also a great website. They just have some general office supplies. So the requirements here are that you need to have a US based business it must be a business in this case for at least 90 days. So from the date that you start and establish your LLC, now you have to wait 90 days and then you can go and apply for the net 30 clean business history. The annual membership fee here is the most expensive. It's $99. The benefit again is that whenever you have to pay for these, usually the processing time a little bit faster. None of these really have a long processing time as to why I put them in my top five, but at least in this case, you know that it's a good one and they'll most likely process pretty quickly. And they also have the lowest minimum order required for credit bureau reporting. So I usually recommend 80 to be safe, but their minimum required is $30. So at least that barrier of entry is lower. You do have to be the authorized officer or controlling party of the business entity to submit. You need the EIN and the DUNS. So the process here is actually going on their website. You'll find the button to apply. You'll submit the form. You create your account. You then wait for approval. Again, they're pretty fast. Within 48 hours, you should get your response. You'll then access your dashboard, up you update your accounts. You'll then be able to add the payment method of being able to pay through a net 30. Then you go back and you buy whatever items you want for the actual from the actual websites. Once you go to checkout, you'll select the net 30 option and then you submit your, your order. And so again, if you're doing this correctly, you can click on the green pay button and from the checkout and you should not have to pay any money at the time of the purchase if you're doing it correctly. And the great thing with this one is that they're reporting to all the three major business bureaus as to why I like the I have this in my top five. So done 
Sons and Bradstreet, Experian Business, and Equifax Business. Okay, so the next one here is going to be Granger. So Granger is a different type of website in which they sell tools and truck equipment. So you should be able to find something useful there. It's a very broad type of catalog. So obviously here we're kind of making purchases just to create these on-time payments, but most of these websites do really have useful items such as office supplies or electronics. So hopefully you can actually find something useful through this entire process. But for Granger, the qualifications are pretty straightforward. We just need a US-based business. Thankfully here, there is actually no annual fee. And then we just need an EIN and a DUNS number because they do report to DUNS. So the process to actually get approved comes down to creating an account. You provide your business information. You'll then receive an account number within 48 hours. You'll then be prompted to fill out a credit application, providing your business information, financials, and credit history. This stuff is very high level, very basic type of questions. You'll then review your application and qualifications. We then wait for approval. Upon approval, Granger will allow you to then make a purchase. You can use a credit limit of up to $1,000 on net 30 terms. Once you go to actually check out, you'll then have the option to pay through net 30. Again, net 30 meaning that you pay nothing at time of purchase and you have 30 days to pay it off. So in this case, Granger will actually report to Duns and Bradstreet as well as Equifax Business. So two out of the top three business bureaus. Next up, we have Uline. So Uline is going to be an office supplies top type of websites. For them, you need to have a US based business. The order requirements to actually report to your business bureau is supposed to be $0. But again, I really recommend making a purchase of at least 80 just to be sure that they'll actually report it. So that's significant enough. The annual membership here is also $0, which is great. And you do need an EIN and a DUNS number. So for them, the process is pretty straightforward. So you simply just go to Uline. Whenever you go to checkouts, you'll then have the option to actually create an account. You will then be provided a customer number, which will then input into your checkout process. You'll select invoice me, which is basically their net 30 term. And then you finish your checkout process. So usually it's pretty straightforward. It's very fast. You just go through the website, you create an account. They allow you to do the net 30 purchase. Then you go ahead with it. Sometimes it does take a little bit longer. Sometimes you don't get approved right away as well. So I usually recommend maybe calling this number if you need assistance with any part of this process right there. So they will be reporting to Duns and Bradstreet, Experian Business on the first of every month. So this one's a little bit faster than CEO Creative, for example. And you also have the option to report to Equifax Business, allowing you to report to all three of the top business bureaus through the use of e-credible business lift. So this is kind of like a, a rent reporter for business bureaus with 30 vendors. They do have a fee and everything. You can use them if you want to. We do have other net 30 vendors that use Equifax. So if you want to go through the extra step and make sure that you're beefing up your Equifax business, you can, but it's not entirely necessary. Then the last one here is going to be Quill. So Quill is another office supplies type of website. This is going to be somewhat easy to use as well. The caveat here is that they only report to Duns, unfortunately, but Duns is one of the top business bureaus. So if you're wanting to further strengthen that relationship, you absolutely can. So the requirements here are that they are only for US based business, you do need a clean business history. I mean, for most of these, you really do most likely need a clean business history. But whatever information I provide on these pages is the information that they clearly display on their website, or the information we got by actually calling them and asking questions. So they say specifically that you need a clean business history, the minimum order required here will be $100. So it's the highest on the list. You need an EIN and a DUNS number. So here you want to go on the website here, quill.com. You'll be able to browse through the catalog. You want to select the items that add up to 100. So whenever you're making these purchases, it doesn't have to be one item that's over 80, over 30, over 100. It just has to be the entire purchase, basically. You'll then have the option of invoicing your accounts, which means that you want to apply for net 30. You then fill out your required business information. Again, just basic information such as the address and the EIN number. You'll We'll then submit your application. We'll wait for Quill to approve you. Once they do, you will be able to then confirm your purchase and then fulfill your order. So you do have other options as well. So if you can't spend at least $100 online with Quill, you can call them and try to get someone on the phone to basically force report the purchase without having to hit that minimum spend. So that's one way to do it. It's just that extra step of having to actually call 
and if they don't approve you right away for a net 30 account you can also call them and try to get approved over the phone i've had clients do that before and so they're trying to get this process taken care of and they try it through the website and for whatever reason they didn't get approved right away so they just called someone over the phone and they're able to get this entire process knocked out very very quickly so the the number is right here but otherwise this one only reports to duns and bradstreet unfortunately so that's the one caveat to this net 30 vendor so it's a great vendor it's pretty straight forward to use the net 30 approvals are usually instantaneous so very easy to just get this whole thing knocked out however they only report to duns and bradstreet so really the goal again is to stack up on time payments up until you hit at least four ideally five and then your business credit report will actually be established now the banks can see that you already paid off debt in the past and that'll make applying and getting approved for business funding much easier in the future so there you have it those are my top five net 30 vendors if you can stack different on-time payments on your business credit report now you're that much closer to qualifying for massive amounts of funding to then scale your business to the next level so hopefully this helps you out let me know which net vendors you actually choose to participate with drop that below in the comments and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about scaling your business and building up your credit to qualify for this funding